Hey guys, welcome to another episode from Stacy Here We Grow Again. Today I really want to talk to you about sowing and growing, planting up your carrots, container variety carrots. Now there's three types of container variety carrots that I love to grow, which is, which are, I should say, these short and sweet variety carrots, my Scarlet Nates, and my Denver variety. And they're all container variety carrots. Now I'm growing the Scarlet Nates and the Denvers outside in the ground. These I'm gonna plant up in these containers with my other Denvers and my Scarlets, my Scarlet Nates. So I got this little container from the grocery store. You can just ask the grocery stores if they have containers outside that are broken or damaged or they're not using, they've been there for a while. They will give them to you a lot of the times. Nurseries, you can go and ask nurseries. They carry these containers because they ship plants in these and stuff like that. Pots, um, you can find a bunch of pots and containers, big pots for your garden, buckets, anything at nurseries. So ask around guys, it's a good way to get free things. And I'm utilizing this one to grow my short and sweet carrots because this variety is only gonna get about four inches long. Now if I was growing my Denver variety or my Scarlet Nate variety, I'd probably choose something a little bit bigger. Um, now, these carrots in a container, you probably need about a one and a half gallon container, or you could even grow in a tote like this if you were to put a bunch of holes at the bottom. You can put 12 holes at the bottom of this container here, it's just a little foot basin bin, and you can definitely grow Scarlet Nates and Denver variety in here because they're only going to get six inches long. They're good container variety carrots. Um, you can also grow them in the ground, and I'm going to plant about 12 carrots in here. So what I did was just cut out a weedless bed and lined it in the tote. And then I held in my corners, I put some soil in here, pushed it to the sides, held in the corners of it, and now I'm just gonna fill in the rest. And I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top so my carrots have enough room. Now this container is 12 inches long to uh, five and a half inches deep. So my carrots are only gonna get four inches long. And there might be roots sticking out of this container a little bit, but they're going to have plenty of room to grow in here. And you can grow these carrots indoors. Um, in your, If you grow it in your house, I wouldn't recommend this little container right here that I'm utilizing. But you can definitely utilize like a pot or something you have around, or a container, or just anything. Um, and grow them indoors. They're really fun to grow. And you can grow a couple of plants in a good sized gallon container. Um, about six or seven plants per one and a half gallon container. So that's pretty cool guys. And this, like I said, is only five and a half inches long. So we're going to be good to go for these little short guys. I'm going to fill the rest of this soil in and make sure we got a good mixture on top here because we want our carrots to have enough room to grow. Now I'm going to move this outside. Once I'm done planting these and shooting this video for you, fellas and ladies <laughs> we're gonna move this um planter outside and we're gonna keep it out there in full sun carrots need about eight to ten hours of full sun a day to survive and grow to their full potential and grow quicker if you if you don't have that much sun or space outside in the garden you can grow these carrots in about five to six hours of sunlight and not worry too much they'll grow they might not grow as fast or as big um, as quick but they'll still grow for you so this is pretty good and I patted all this stuff down we're gonna shimmy it a little bit and we're gonna plant 12 plants so one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, oop, ten. We want our rows even. So you want all your little carrots even. And we're going to plant two or three little carrot seeds in each hole because we're going to thin them out once they get a little bit bigger. So I'm going to spread these out on the floor here just so I can pick them up. And we're gonna put them in each hole. So try to not put too many. But if you do, that's okay, because you can just go ahead and thin them out when they get big. This way you know that 
you know, if some of them does, don't sprout, you got some nice backups to go behind these little fellas. Once you get these little guys planted, you can definitely give them a nice water. Just make sure your water is not pulling out your seeds because you don't want to move these little seeds. You don't want to move them around. So what I'm going to do is just finish this up, guys. Oops, I poured too many. We're just going to finish this toad up here. Just get him in the hole. And we're just going to cover them. We're just going to cover them up. Just don't move them around too much. Just give them a little cover. If you want, you can just sprinkle the soil on top instead of moving it around like this. But since we have room, we're just going to push it around and push it down. Make sure they're all snuggled in. And then we're going to give it a nice water with a watering can really gently. I'll get my watering can over here. Oop, I don't have any water in here, guys. Let me get my can. My spray bottle, I'll get my spray bottle. And you just wanna keep these <clears throat> in a good amount of sun till they sprout. Now in the cold, they're not gonna really sprout as quick as in the summertime because it's really cold out here right now. So they need a warm soil to sprout, guys. You can put them in the sun. We've been really rainy here. So we haven't had much sun, but um, I'm gonna keep these in as much sun as I can outdoors. I'm gonna keep them outside. And then um, they're gonna grow and sprout in about eight to 10 days. Hopefully a little sooner than that if I keep them a little more moist and warm. And then um, once they sprout and have two or three sets of true leaves on them, then I know they'll be ready to go to start counting up to maturity. And that's going to be 70 days, so 68 to 70 days. Sometimes carrots take a little longer than that to grow and produce that carrot. So maybe 80 days or 90 days even. It can go a couple of weeks past that, that maturity date till they're ready. And um, just remember, they like fertilizer. Don't cut out the nitrogen. Um, a lot of people cut nitrogen out with carrots and stuff. But, you know, you got to remember this, this vegetable is growing underneath the ground, just like a potato and things like that. So they're going to focus on that foliage is important to grow this fruit and vegetable. So what you're going to need is a lot of nitrogen, equal parts nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizer every couple of weeks or so for your carrots to grow and produce more foliage. The more foliage your carrot has, the more of a carrot you're going to produce and the healthier that carrot's going to be. So just a little tip for you guys, you know, don't cut that nitrogen out. Equal parts nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium fertilizer is great. Like my Miracle, I mean, yeah, my Miracle Grow or my um, Dynagro mixture, that's perfectly fine too. Till next time, keep your soil well moist and you'll have carrots sprouting in no time. And I can't wait to harvest these guys in a few months with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And always share this video with friends on your social media pages in case they can benefit from this as well. Happy planting, guys. Bye-bye.